What's up, guys? Desert B here, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I think we're ready to do this quest with the marshal. I want to say this is the last one. Hanging Bonnie McFarlane, I yeah. Clue. All right, but it's got to be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Where's Good Bonnie? Grief. I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday afternoon. I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, nobody's lost anything yet. Drew sure was his oh, name. Mr. Marshall! Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are! Who the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> now this, I want to say this is part of um, Williamson's gang. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane! Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. <laughs> Get out from there! You know, part of me's got the thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want Norman Deke. I want him set free. Then you'll get your daughter back, mister. We don't do deals with outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself. You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! Jeez. We do? we do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Please do. Also, thanks for accusing you, maybe? I don't know. I mean... But Norman Deke is the guy that we captured. Teach you some respect for the law. We captured him when we had that little run-in with the Williamson's gang. It's been a little Hurry while, Let's go. but he's Where's been in jail ever deputy? since. And now I guess sure they want him back. Good. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Drew was his name. I couldn't for the life remember that. For the life of me. Right. Let's go get Miss McFarland back. Man, poor Bonnie. I really like her. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy at all. And I already told you, I ain't with the government. How you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in sheep clothing, all of them, rob you, then make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke, Williamson's right-hand man. In other words, the glorified errand boy. Hey, wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you! Bill Standards have slipped. Bill Williamson's right-hand man. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputies. You know, <laughs> for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Come on. Yeah, poor Bonnie. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I think that we might have been here with Seth I recently, just too. I not taking advantage of the McFarlands, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. 
Matches they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson in the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubts. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. I feel like our reasons Kill. for working How is with. How best supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Then look at Deke here. Go to hell! Man has worked hard at civilization. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. But from what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Weeks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. I hope that I'm spoiled or yet. I ain't had my turn. I feel like... Maybe parenting isn't exactly the same as enforcing laws. But also, I feel like our reasons for helping the sheriff are slightly different than the reasons that we've been doing things with the McFarlands. Like, the marshal is trying to insinuate that we're taking advantage of the McFarlands, and that's not true. And he's saying that we're helping the McFarlands because we have our reasons because that's what we're doing with Sheriff. We're helping him because we need his help. But that's not true either. <laughs> uh, I think the McFarlands John, were just... You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. The McFarlands were just kind of Lee like a lucky thing that happened to us, right and they've been nice people. Uh, they've right, been, you know, helping us out, you and we've been helping them out in return. So I feel like that's not exactly the same. Same as what he was saying about parenting and criminals. I hear those the sheriffs. Like in the rear. Oh my god. The. Maybe oh, maybe I better. Maybe I better so get behind this guy. Get these ropes off me, boys! Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Uh-oh. And we hear Bonnie screaming! Wait, where's my... I don't have... Did I? What? 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 Goodness sakes. What in the world? Hold on, I want the repeater. I like that one best. Who's shooting me? Oh, there's a guy on the roof over here. Ooh, that was close. Oh, come on. How did that not kill him? Uh, there's a guy right here. He ducked back under that wagon. There he is. All right, let's, um, can I reload? Shoot this guy while he runs. Because we're not the law. We can do things like that. Uh, oh my gosh, I hear Bonnie screaming. Oh, shoot. Uh, come on. Guy on the roof, too. Get these horses out of the way, please. Oh, oh gosh. Where, where is she? Oh, the blue circle on the map, I bet. Ah! Shot him right in the butt. Oh, shoot. I hope I didn't hit Bonnie. I think I got the rope. Did I? I died. <laughs> I died, not Bonnie. I thought I got a rope. Oh, man. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. I'm not even gonna. Oh, I can't. Ooh -wee. Okay, get behind cover. 
And there's a guy on the roof here that we need to take out. Or is there? Maybe not. Uh, okay, let's head up. Where are they all? Maybe I can move up again. Yeah, we were here with Seth. We were just here. Got him. Isn't there a guy right there? What is that? Maybe that's just a body. One, two, three. All right, got those guys. And then there's one right there. Oh. I wanted to take that guy out before. Gosh, look at, she's all cut up. That is awful, dude. One, two, wasn't there one right there? We're coming, Bonnie. There's somebody behind that wagon right there, or right there. I don't know how long I can wait before Bonnie actually does die. Don't worry, Bonnie. Got her. Jeez. Bonnie, are you okay? I find out, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? <laughs> well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> Jeez. Bonnie acts like she wasn't just almost dead. <laughs> well, you're welcome. Look at that fame bar slowly moving up. New weaponries available. Last time they told me that that was a lie. But I do have $600. Um, I don't know where that body is. I, was, I want to loot a little bit here. This is really how you get all your money, I think. Although there have been a couple little things that I've done, like random little, I don't know, help somebody. Or like that one thing where that guy's wife was being hanged or something like that. Um, I think I got $25 for that. Although, maybe I get paid more now because my, um, fame and honor and stuff is going up. So that could be it, too. Okay. There's one more body somewhere over here. I don't really want to check inside of all these buildings, though, is my problem. Yeah, that one might be on the roof or something. Okay, um, horse? Horse? And then, uh, let's see. We've got a quest with Irish, and we've got a quest with Nigel West Dickens. Um, and they're both really close together here. I guess Irish is closer, so let's do Irish. And Irish owes us an explanation because he sent us into that house to kill those people for him and then just, like, left? And there was no gun. So, wait, wait, wait. Where's the road? Wait a minute. What? Oh, here. Little side path here. What a ghost town. Check this place out. Audi. Give me, sir. Ooh, the landscape out here in the uh, distance looks really cool, doesn't it? Just kind of like in shadow from the clouds and stuff. Okay, let's get going and let's go speak with um, Irish a little bit. There really aren't any further quests with Bonnie, I'm pretty sure. So, I don't think there's any actually with Marshall either now that I think about it. But, so we don't actually ever really get to talk to her. Well, there's something later, way, 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 way later, but... We don't actually really ever get to talk to them again and, you know, like, see how she's doing or anything like that. Whoa, look at all these rocks. Like, whoa, let's go just over here. Check this out. 
I swear, you guys, there's a road. It's actually, it's on Highway 60. Um, I'm trying to think if it's east of Superior, where it's it legit, like, not even joking. It looks just like this, these rocks all along the side of the highway. Go Google map it. All right, Irish. Is he in a jail? Isn't this where we got uh, Moses out of the jail? It's just a man over here drinking on the side of the building. Oh, that's Irish. Irish. <laughs> where are you? Oh, who do you want? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Drunkard. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there, and who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special <laughs> he is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. It gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it makes me violently angry. <laughs> Shall we go look for that gun, sir? Yes. Sounds it's definitely intimidating. Uh, come on, Dad. We'll find your precious gun. Honestly, I don't think this guy should be on the back of a horse. Much less be messing with a machine gun. Look at that beautiful horse. I still haven't figured out how to equip the other one. Company Irish. Boy, love me, faithless Flora, the lily of the west. You're not gonna pass out on me, are you, Irish? <laughs> me? No, I'm right as rain. Gosh, <laughs> I don't think so. We're stuck between fair and medley. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. <laughs> It weren't like that at all, feller. Me intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. <laughs> Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. <laughs> here we are. Check out Let's these weird here cactus out the here. Of the land. I don't know if those are Joshua trees or if they're just like yuccas. But they look so cool. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll really? find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. And who are these two? Probably not friends. You must be lost, cowboy. This is private property. 
You can use Deadeye to take out multiple targets quickly. Okie dokie. Oof. Find a way into the mine. All right, here we go. Should we get the um, repeater out? I really, I kind of like this repeater, I think. Carbine. Oh, or we've got the shotgun. I think I like this, though. Uh-oh, I see somebody moving up there. Oh, lots of people moving. Apparently. Yeah, what are miners doing with a Gatling gun? Ah. Oh, there's so many coming out of the woodworks. There's one really close, but I don't see it. Here's somebody. Hey, should we move? Yeah, let's move. We got that guy. Oh, there's somebody back here. We gotta get behind this crate. Two. Whoops. Oh, he got a good hit on me, apparently. Aye. Load, John. These are just look like old men. All right. Reload. Uh-oh. More of them. Oh, that's nothing. Uh, let's restock on some ammo. And then I guess we're going into this dark mine. Um, here we go. Was there even a such thing as flashlights back in this time? It is literally so dark. Look for the Gatlin gun and something. Something about miners. Ah! Oh my gosh. Stay down. Let's move uh, uh, John, please. Move forward. I see something. Oh, check it out. Look at this. Watch. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if that'd be a good idea to actually do. Set off an explosive in the mine. Um, We've got a split in the road. Oh, that's dangerous. Left fork. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, we can do this. Wait. Wait, I got it. Uh, uh. I tried to hit that TNT, but I'm... Apparently I needed to reload. Hmm! Where'd he come from? There's nothing to hide behind here. Oh, jeez. He's like right in this little crevice or something. Where? Where are they? Ah! Jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah! Can't see. Lord. Goodness. It is like uh, really dark in here. Uh. Uh oh, here come more. Ah! Wait, hide. Oh, jeez. That was not, not good there. I just really want the ammo. I think we want to keep going straight. Here's a little hideout. There's more ahead. Mm. Uh, oh, here they are. Okay, let's get behind this crate. There's one more up here somewhere. But I don't see him. What's this? Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought that was like an elevator or something on the right. There's still more down here. I hear him. Oh, we're getting closer. 
Oh, I missed. Jeez. Okay, take cover. Oh my gosh. Oof. Okay, I think we're good. Let's grab the ammo, probably reload. Just like trampling all these bodies. Oh, saw him. Before he showed up on the map. That's how they're getting me. They're not showing up on the map. Okay, let's take cover. We could shoot this. I don't think that took anybody out though, unfortunately. There's one. And there's one just standing there. Come on. Okay, let's reload. Now, is this the gun? Ah. Looks like it's in pieces. Now, the question is... What did that say? Government issue? Stand behind the cart and press triangle to grab on. Let me just grab some ammo, please. Okay. We're going on a ride. Push the minecart. Use L to push and then R1 to slow down. Jeez. R1 to slow down. How do I speed up though? Uh oh. Wait, are we going the wrong way? Oh, maybe we need to. Here, let go, John. Maybe I need to push it from this side. Ah, here we go, here we go. That makes better sense. When you're pushing the minecart and gain enough speed, you'll automatically jump on. Okay, nice. Is this, is this the exit? I have no idea. Come on, John. I feel like... Nah. Yeah, I think we're going. I feel like we're gonna run into more miners. And this is all uphill. Didn't Irish say this thing weighs a ton? Like 100 pounds or something? Or was it... Did he actually specify? I don't remember, but... I feel like this is probably not easy. Oh, here we go. Now we're going down. Oh, yeah. It's like a roller coaster. And what's the... What's this? It's like a checkpoint or what? Oh, this is the shaft. Okay. I thought I'd be looking at your corpse being hauled up this lift. Load up and I'll engage the gears. Jeez. I was going to say, haul me up too, please. Wow, things are really coming together. We've got our Gatlin gun now. Government issued. Yeah, it sure oh, there does. There she is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flatbed parked down below. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And now there are people here. Okay, John, run, please. Oh, I can actually make him run. Nice. Um, please. And there's more up here on the left. Oh, oh, look at this. This is fun. Wait, did I get the guy? Oh, look, big boy. <laughs> That'll teach him. Woo! Irish coming through. Sure. Let's go! A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. No help getting that thing in the wagon from Irish. Just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way. All right, now we've got Seth, we've got the Gatlin gun. I guess we've got the Marshall. 250 fame. 
And uh, now we just need to secure Nigel West Dickens. And then I think we're ready for this assault on Fort yeah. Mercer. So Irish, it looks like he does have another quest. I don't know why. I thought we were done with him. Oh, check it out. Funny man. Oh, that's the... Wait, was the funny man the... The weird guy that knows us, but we don't know him. Let's go check on this guy. I wonder if he's going to have another thing for us to go interfere in. Whoa there. Whoa there. The funny man. Because there was that one guy that we met at the um, railroad station that wanted to be a writer or something like that. I don't remember what he was called. I really can't get over this landscape out here. This looks so cool. And it's not the typical, like, this isn't Sonoran Desert, you guys. Um, this is, well, I guess it could be. But I think Sonoran Desert is particularly special in that it has saguaro cactus. Um, and there aren't any saguaro cactus here. So it makes me think that maybe we've left the saguaro desert and we've entered, like, a different kind of a desert. I guess I don't really know. All I know is that uh, these Joshua trees or yuccas or whatever they are and all of this like really rocky landscape just looks so cool. We're going to get like a really nice view up here. Wait a minute. What? I thought he was up. I guess the thing does say down. Well, how do I? Can I get in here? No. <laughs> okay. Um. Down? Where is he? Under the ground? Oh, there's a hole. No ladder, though. <gasps> oh, gosh! <laughs> no way! Okay, there's gotta be a way to lower that bucket down. Something. <laughs> no ladder. I just went for it, I guess. Oh, no! Where are we? Oh, we're way in Armadillo? Oh, what? That's unfortunate. Funny man. Well, so much for that. I guess... Let's go do the Nigel West Dickens thing and see where that leaves us. This is kind of closer. I don't think it matters if I was to not... Say if I was to not finish some of these quests before leaving i don't really know i don't want to i don't want to risk like not doing them and they disappearing before we come back i'm not really sure how that works in this game man it really really spawned me way over here it's kind of annoying i guess that it just spawns you in like your house essentially but Oh, well. I really don't remember what else Nigel has for us. I wonder if we're going to be doing another race or something, maybe? But I think we're really close to being able to go and do this um, assault on Fort Mar Mercer. And honestly, after them kidnapping Bonnie now, like, that really kind of... Didn't like that at all. So... Now we've got a couple of reasons to be going after them, I guess. Aside from just the fact that the government wants Bill Williamson and uh, they're not going to let John's family go until we deliver them. I feel like we've left the desert entirely now. Look at this. There's like actual trees and stuff up here. Not a cactus in sight. I wonder, is this a brand new area? Yeah, this looks so different. Look at this. It's so pretty. Where the heck has Nigel gotten off to? Oh, look at that tree. Oh, let's go check that out. Oh, there's no leaves on it. Oh, there's um, this little camp here. Wow. Easy. Oh, there's a little cactus. But, um, Repentance Rock. Come on. What a cool landscape. Where the heck is Nigel? Come on. 
He's, um... Way out here. It didn't really look on the map like we were going that far. Yeah, I guess just down here by, um, the river. But I guess the way that the landscape has changed, I feel like we're far away. Oh, what's all this? It's like a bunch of buildings here. Plain view. Oh, there he is. There's his wagon. I think. Can a swindler change his ways? Annie? Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Why is he hiding behind a tree? Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. There's that word again. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> You read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, Ooh. sir, the show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir. I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. <laughs> a selfless act for you. But sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Oh, we're Fair selling enough. more oh, stuff. Good, sir. Come and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> Look at the cracking and stuff in the mud on the ground. So realistic and cool. <laughs> so we're gonna go swindle some. I guess maybe he's the swindler, not us. Um, mingle with the crowd until the show starts. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, gather round. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, Fraud. 12... This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Chose Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right oh. now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, uh -oh. I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Words getting around about this guy. Okay, you drive. Oh, wait, um. Yeah, watch your head there, Nigel. Riding in the passenger seat, also known as riding shotgun. Only shit on people for so long before they decide it's their turn to pull down the pants. A crude metaphor in every sense of the word, my dear boy. You leave the business to me, I try to tell you how to rob banks. Robin Banks, no more honest than this. No, no, no. We gotta. There's more back here. He's another one coming up. Fine shot, my boy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got two on our backs now. I'll get rid of these guys. Who's that? Just Reload. Down, you? Two, yeah, look, they ride like that, like in a single file, and you don't realize that there's two until they split up right there at this last second. Reload. We got another one coming up. Yes, you got him. How did I switch guns? 
Oh, I do like, like this one better. Expansion of your West Dickens elixir might have come a crop. Nonsense. Just another bump on the science of Rocky Road. Hey, Sean, respect science. Oh, there's I still more. Gosh. I feel like. I don't know. I'd say the prettiest dude. Look to the front, John. Oh, in the front. I think that if I were these guys, I, um, seeing all the bodies that they're passing on the road, I think I would have maybe gave up. Great Scott. You sure ain't very popular. I am up against the weight of plebeian ignorance, my boy. Taylor, I'm not sure we're out of the woods yet. How could there possibly be anybody left? Maybe you need to think about a change of career. I will uh -oh. never give up on science. Oh. I'm so glad he's driving and not me. Driving a wagon is the How worst. These people harbor such bitterness. Uh-oh. Well, got more coming up. That town of got dragon Bridgewood went to me like a dose of salt. All right, who else? What do you want from me? The fact that you they just really keep coming that. is just crazy to me. We're literally leaving a trail of bodies and they're just continuing. Hey, hey, hey. Uh-oh. More of them coming up. Got him. Oh, we're not uh, out of the woods yet. Keep that gun at the ready, my dear boy. Uh oh. Something over on the right. Are they on the cliff? It says they're up. I don't see anybody. They should be right there. Oh. I have no idea. There's something out there. Oh, we got somebody right here. Gosh, where did this guy's really gotten around? Here he is. Where? None of this looks familiar to me at all. Look at that house on the edge of the hill up there. That looks so cool. Wave a Seca. Well, that was a little hairy. Thank you, my dear boy. You saved the day again. Is this the, um... Stockpile. It always impresses me with the speed with which a group of men can turn from passive sheep into murderous wolves. I'm impressed with how you nearly got us killed back there. Uh, yes, yeah, so perhaps we should shell the tonics business for a period. Let's say we try our hand at racing again. There's a meet at Rathskeller. You're trying my patience, Mr. West Dickens. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, dear boy, but I'm only an aging vendor of exotic elixirs, not the bloody U.S. Cavalry. Forgive me if matters take some time to prepare. So he does have another race for us. I wanted to see this area that he's staying in. What is this where he, like, camps out, or...? I wonder if this is where the Gatlin gun's gonna be stored. Yeah, what do you think? This is his little tent. <laughs> I think this is where he lives. Oh, yeah. $17. Check it out. This is not too bad. I mean, if you're going to live outside. <laughs> Should we... Um, I think we could probably do the race. We're already here. The sport of something. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! Oh, gross. How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. 
Are we ready, then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. <laughs> I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Rathskeller Fork. Now that's a name. It's not too far to oh good, he's gonna drive. Wait, wait, oh wait, I don't get to... Okay. Horse! I want my horse for this ride. Okay, all things considered. Hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. I accidentally exited the wagon. I refuse to let the blind stupidity... I guess I can just go, like... Let me see if it'll let me just get there, and Let's then I go. maybe I don't have to actually ride with Nigel West Dickens and listen to him the entire. Um, where are we though? I was really curious. Oh look! Oh, oh no no, that's where I'm going. Where did we come from? Oh, right here. So I guess this is where Nigel West Dickens hides out, <laughs> way on the edge of the map. How funny is that? Okay, we're headed. Just the silent stead. If I remember correctly, there's like um some kind of a mountain lion or something out here in these parts. Fitting, I mean look at it. Looks like a place where mountain lions or something would hang out. We're getting a really pretty sunset right now too. I hope I don't have to race in the dark though. Let's hurry up and get there. Yeah, that was probably way faster than if we had rode with Nigel. Line up in the starting position. Uh, okay. And check out my horse's stamina. It's all the way maxed out now. Here we go. Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding, neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes a rider to unfairly lose his weight or bleed heavily or black out. Get yourselves ready. Set. Go. It did not mention death. All right, let's just get out in front of these guys. Come on, war horse. Oh, which way's next? When they have those forks in the roads and they're not marked, it's like uh, tough to know which way to go. Okay, good. This one's marked off. I'm trying to stay a pretty fair distance up ahead of these guys here. Really keeping my horse's stamina down at the very bottom, which is kind of dangerous because if somebody does like fly up next to me, I'm not really going to have much to work with to get back in front of them, but uh, we're pulling ahead pretty good though. I think we're okay. Is this, um... Is this, uh, what was the name? Tumbleweed? Oh, look at that stamina. I don't want to get bucked up either. Okay, thank you. One of eight racers. Horse racing in a place like this seems just absolutely dangerous. For your horse, because the roads are so narrow. How do you pass people without your horse having to potentially, like, get off trail and, you know, like, they could hit a rock or misstep or something? And it's getting dark, which is not great. Not ideal racing conditions. I do love this music, though. Da -da -da. How long is this race? Holy smokes. 
And then on this tiny little trail of a road, very narrow canyons here. Oh, what's up above us? Is this like a railroad? Interesting. Stay on the path there, horse. Narrow conditions here. Whew. And then to the right. This is... <gasps> oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. I messed up. I really messed up. Oh gosh. Dude, they passed me so quick. You're kidding me. Eighth place? You are literally kidding me. Holy smokes. I really messed up. I just wasn't paying attention to my stamina. Come on, Warhorse. You can do it. That's the end of the race right in front of us, too. Oh, gosh. Giddy up. Yeah, that's right. Stay on the path. We go faster on the path. Okay. Oh, boy. We did it. <laughs> oh, we did it. Just don't let that stamina run out again. Wow, man. That was, uh, that was bad. Whew. This horse is, like, amazing. I can't believe that. Woo! <laughs> Wowie. He, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? <laughs> don't forget, we have the marshal. I wonder how much money we did get for that. Five? I got five dollars. I don't know what he got. The saloon. Uh, what's on the map now? Is this the guy I tried to track down? Who are you to judge? Nope, that was way down here. So, um, what is the next? There's Irish. We've got one more quest, I think, with Irish. And then I think we can go do the Fort Mercer. And, um... We've got this. I think I would feel more comfortable probably finishing up these stranger missions before we do the assault on Fort Mercer, just in case. But there's just this one and then these two over here. So I think next episode we'll um, do the side quest and then we'll do Irish's quest and then we'll see where we're at with time and if we can do the Fort Mercer assault, which is going to be fun. What is this on the... It's a horseshoe. Oh, it's literally horseshoes. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for watching and come back next time for more. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you got to do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.